Okay, but the reality is once it does rebound, they have a there should be some level of correction probably over the next 18 to 24 months. Quebec has been hit hard economically by COVID-19. Finance Minister Eric Girard unveiled the effects of the crisis on the province's books Friday, saying this is an unprecedented shock to the economy. We have work to do. I personally wanted responsibilities uh, related to public finance, and I'm privileged that the, uh, our premier has given me these responsibilities. A historic deficit is projected reaching almost $15 billion for the 2020-2021 fiscal year. The pandemic forced 40% of Quebec's economy to hit the pause button for over two months, causing the province's productivity to decrease 6.5%, biggest drop since 1981. We are doing everything that we can to increase the potential growth of Quebec in the long term from what it was estimated at 1.3 percent to 2 percent. Girard saying he hopes the province will return to a stable pre-COVID-19 level for the GDP by the end of 2021, something political analyst Karim Boulot says is quite ambitious. We're going to see more and more difficulty uh, for Quebec and Canadian companies as a whole. So I think that there's going to have to be a little bit more time given. The province spent over $6 billion during the first few weeks of the pandemic to help the health care network and provide economic relief to Quebecers. Girard estimates over 800,000 jobs were lost since March, with some coming back in April and May. We're there for Quebecers. We're there for our businesses. And uh, we are ready for a second wave. I think there needs to be money injected into job creation, into infrastructure projects, as Mr. Legault said, uh, to get people back to construction sites, get real estate back to where you know it, it has been strong and continues to be and you know maintain that position. Another economic update is set to be unveiled in the fall. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.